What's up you guys, it's Jeffrey Benz right here. I'm super excited to bring you today's brand new video. In today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you what to do when you make your first $100 from Forex trading. At least these are the things that I did and I think I should share with you guys just in case you're making your first $100 in your trade and you don't even know what to do. All right. So without further ado, hit the subscribe button, turn on post notification, like this video. If these are the type of content that you love, I definitely will be bringing more to your way. Making your first $100 as a Forex trader can be so exciting, most especially if it is your first time. And there are some measures that you need to take so that this excitement doesn't get into your head and then you start throwing your risk management into the air and then you start trading anyhow you like and the market <laughs> no time might just take it away from you. So we don't want that. So that's why I'm going to be bringing out this step in order for you to take when you make your first $100. First step that you want to do is to celebrate your success. Making $100 in your forest journey is a huge milestone that many forest traders might want to commonize, but I'm actually telling you Make sure you celebrate this success because this will determine whether or not you're also going to be to celebrate the day you're going to be making bigger amount. Take a moment to acknowledge the effort and hard work that you have put in in order for you to make this hundred dollars. And also, this can serve as motivation in order for you to even make even way more money. Like the book that I read, The Richest Man in Babylon, the concept simply states that you should pay yourself first. So this is a way of actually paying yourself first. That will serve as a motivation in order for you to refuel every energy. It just has a psychology of how things work best whenever you pay yourself first. So having this hundred dollars and celebrating your success is a great thing, right? Just be very happy and be very proud of yourself because if you can make hundred dollars, you can actually add next time you can add an extra zero at the price. That would be a thousand dollars. Even add two extra zeros and that would be ten thousand dollars. And you could keep adding more zeros at the back of that, even up onto ten millions and hundreds of millions. And the second step that you want to do is to assess your trading plan. Now, it is easy whenever you have already made profit for you to forget things that you have done that made you profit. So profits can actually get into your head and then you start behaving irrationally. So that's why it's important to go back to the beginning to assess your trading plan. So this time, it is important you start looking at these plans that make you this $100 and then you want to look at and reinforce them. Always remember to read them day and night, most especially before you start trading. Recite them and make sure you are sticking to them while you are there because it is very easy for you to throw them to, through the window and then just do things that you think that is right in your head and then that might just lead to you blowing an account or losing the money again so you don't want that so reassess your trading plan and then trade it again and you also have to consider if there are any adjustments that you need to make based on your trading results and then this will make it to stick and be very disciplined in enforcing your trading system all across your trades so the third thing that you also want to put into consideration is to reinforce good trading habits Reinforcing good trading habits is a key thing that you have to go back to check from your trading history. In order for you to see what you actually did that made you $100 is to check your previous history where you made this $100. And you want to take note of the habits that you kept and then you want to repeat it in your subsequent trade so that you can always have a system that will really keep generating you that amount of money. It is really important for you to have this good trading habit all around. So what I do is I have a trading plan and also have a trading journal. So trading journal in this case is what I'm talking about. So trading journal help you to keep account of your trading habits, what you are doing when you are making losses, what you are doing when you are making profit. And then you want to minimize on things you did wrong and then maximize on things you are doing right. So that's what you need to do at this phase. Then the fourth thing is you want to manage your risk. Managing your risk is no brainer because you've made profit doesn't mean you're going to make future profit because past profit doesn't guarantee future success. So in all trades, you have to make sure you are enforcing proper risk management by using a stop loss not allowing trades to go way overboard before you hop on make sure trade come to your entry before you get in and use the proper stop loss so with this idea of managing your risk at each point in time and you're not over leveraging thinking that oh yeah i just made profit so i think i can also do the same thing without proper risk management now i've, I've learned the ropes i can just do any higher like i mean i might just lose that money again so that's why it's important you always manage your risk at all time so make sure your risk management is still top-notch even while you are making profit and also when you are also making losses because it is actually easy for you to apply proper risk management when you are making profit and forget to apply because you are making losses because you want to reverse trade because you've lost a hundred dollars you want to go double down so that you can make, use that to make more money then that would be a problem you'll be losing way more so that's why it's always important whether or not you are losing keep proper risk management the fifth step that you also want to keep into cognizance is keep learning like we are all students, always. We keep learning, keep learning, keep learning because first is a very complex business that you always have to learn and it's ever changing. It's a continuum, most especially the psychology that you need to keep. It's a continuum and you always have to keep 
learning in order for you to stay abreast with the market. Like you have to keep learning chart pattern because patterns keep changing, market behaviors, uh, how people are reacting to it. You have to keep tab of fundamental news, the macro news, everything. You just have to just be in, ta- in close tab with the market. So if because you have made hundred dollars and you stop learning, I mean there will be no time for you to want to add zero at the back of that to make it a thousand dollars. So that's why it's important to keep learning. Keep learning in all aspects. Keep learning how your mentors are doing. Keep learning how other people are actually doing it, how they are doubling down, how to stack, how to exit the trade, how to get proper entry, how to even make way more money, and how to also spend this money, which is also very important. Just keep learning in all ramifications. Don't close your mind to learning because you're already making a hundred dollars. Just keep learning and know what is too much and know what is less. Just try to strike a balance between that. And then you'll be good. Then the sixth step, which is the last, is to make sure that you scale your trading. Now, making hundred dollars is a nice step, and I want you to know that this is more than six trillion dollars market cap in a day. All right, so you can also increase your earning by actually scaling. And what do I mean? Scaling in this case simply means you not just thinking that hundred dollars is the high rise, but you still can make more. And since you have the knowledge to make hundred dollars, you can even make ten thousand, hundred thousand, one million, and so on and so forth. So it is time for you to just reinvest back into the business now you are very cautious and you know what you do and you know the things exact same things that have made you that hundred dollars then all you just have to do is to double down is that you scale through in form of lot sizing you increase your lot sizing so that you can make a little bit more than you were making before or you just trade frequently trade the right signals frequently so that's all you have to do now in order for you to scale more and to make more money in the long run you just have to wait for better opportunities and learn to double down really fast. So let me double down, learn how to stack like ta, 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 the way we do it. Now, you don't just go in with all of your money that you are risking all at once. So that's why you have to have them split it out. Like what I do is if I see an opportunity and I intend on risking a hundred dollars all at stretch because I have way more money on the balance. Let's say for example, I have a thousand dollars and I want to risk, I want to risk 10%. I'm just giving an example for ease of calculation. Risking 10% means I'm going to be risking hundred dollars. So instead of going all in with $100, do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to split that into five, thereby risking $20 at a time. I'm going to go in first, risking $20, then risking $20, $20. And that would mean uh, for me to exhaust the $100, then I'll have to have five positions. So in that case, as far as keep moving in my favor, I'm going to take my stop loss, I'm going to break even, right? And then I'll keep adding low positions again. So the break even I've applied, break even is a state of market where you're no longer risking anything. So the first entries I have at this bottom for a buy, they're no longer at risk. So the worst that could happen when market retraces to hit my stop loss is that I'm exiting with small profit. All right. So since that's the case, then where market is at, if I see any small pullback, all right, and it's heading toward my direction again, I'm going to add new positions. So what I'm doing is I'm scaling my trading account. I'm making more money. And then using the unrealized profit that the money that the trade entry that I've entered at the bottom is yet to give to also place no trade. So at the end of the day, where I'm supposed to be targeting one to two, which is I'm risking hundred dollars to make two hundred dollars. At the end of the day, I can be making say five hundred dollars, six hundred dollars, or even one thousand dollars. So that's how the stacking process works. So this is one of the videos that I just tell you guys what to do. But there are other videos that explain stacking in entirety. And if you also want to get me do this live and also watch me do it live, then you want to join and be a part of our mentorship, which is at firetipsfs.com. And I will teach you there in my daily live trading. And then you can also learn via osmosis and just learn with the other team from all over 160 countries watching me live every Wednesdays and Fridays. So in conclusion, making $100 as a forex trader is a huge milestone that you should celebrate. I wouldn't want you to commonize this. So that's why I'm making this video to let you know that you need to celebrate it. And also follow suit with these steps that I've taught you. And these are the things that I also did that make me to also scale from that hundred dollars to thousand dollars to ten thousand, on and on and on to one million and even and I'm keep I keep going. So these are the things that you should keep doing every now and then. And also, if you like this type of content and you love to be a part of our community, the first step to do is just hit the subscribe button and like this video so that this video can also be recommended to other people that will be interested so that we can make this community more bigger and more conducive for more other people thank you guys for sticking around and if you like to watch some of our channel videos please kindly consider watching this other one and that'll be it for today bye